girlies and welcome back to the pod. So this week we are talking all about shaving, body hair, insecurities, societal standards, how to ask your mom or tell her that you want to shave, different types of hair removal, what I used to shave, all the stuff. So pretty much everything you need to know, shaving 101. I got you because I get a lot of DMs of people asking me this. A lot of people have requested that I do this episode. So here we are. And for the people that know me in real life, this will be great. And I'm going to pretend like I don't know people who listen to this, which is cool. Also, um, can we just take a second to admire how cute my earrings are? They're from Whatever Lola and I'm obsessed with them. Honestly, my fit right now is kind of iconic. I would show you but I can't really stand up. So anyway, let's just start out with best and worst of the week. So best of the week is that by the time you're listening to this episode, I will in fact be on the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon. I know, it's crazy. So I'm really excited to be going on that trip. Um, Excited to be outside, away from my phone, social media, all that stuff. But obviously right now I'm not in the Grand Canyon because I'm recording before I'm leaving. Um, But yeah, I'm super pumped and you can expect an episode of me talking about the Grand Canyon, my experience, story times, whatever, when I get back, hopefully, because I do have, um, because I'm going to the Grand Canyon for maybe 10 days and then I have a day or two in between for when I leave for Nantucket, which is kind of overwhelming because I have to unpack, pack, get all my stuff ready, and then I think I have a book club meeting and yada, 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 all a bunch of stuff. That's going to be a busy two days, but hopefully I'll have enough time to let y'all know everything that happened, or if not, then I'll probably go live and do Grand Canyon story time, story times, um, something like that, but you can expect some point, some time <laughs> to hear about it, and if I can bring my phone, because I'm not sure yet, then I'll try my best to take some pictures and then post them when I get back, but again, I'm super excited, also kind of scared for tan lines, because we're going to be whitewater rafting, and I feel like I'm going to get the worst short tan and then considering I'm going to Nantucket and going to be at the beach, I'm going to be at the beach with the ugliest short tan. Uh, no. It's okay, though. I'm excited. So, my worst of the week is that recently I've been practicing parking because even though I'm 17, I still do not have my license, which I am working on. I really need to get it, but I'm going to be out of town most of the summer and I'm still trying to learn how to park. It's not even parallel parking. I'm just like bad at normal parking too. So I need to learn how to normal park. So I was trying to do that with my mom and it was just super overwhelming and there were tears. I mean, I can get in the spot, just it's not like perfectly straight or I feel like I'm going to hit someone trying to get out of it. I don't know. It's just, it's a whole thing. I'm working on that because I really need to get my license specifically before school. I will 100% be getting it before school and I'm planning on doing an episode about driving, all that stuff. Maybe I'll record it in the car. That could be cool, but also that could be a really bad idea as well. Not while I'm driving or anything, just like sitting in the car. That might be stupid. I don't know. We'll see. As I said, we're talking about everything, shaving, body hair, all the fun stuff. So yeah, don't forget to leave a review, subscribe, follow, do all the things y'all already know, and I'm excited to get into this episode, so let's just do that. So starting out with like some tips, I guess, general tips in general, not for specific areas, but you're going to want to use something to shave, obviously. Um, Shaving cream, please do not dry shave. Um. Even if you have to use like conditioner, that's better than nothing, but preferably shaving cream, shave lotion, whatever, just something to have as a barrier in between the razor and your skin so you don't so you don't cut yourself. Also, you need to change your razors. Um, you can't use the same razor for like 
a long period of time, you need to change them out probably every few months or something. I don't know the exact timeline. That could be wrong. Google it. But you're going to want to change your razors. Um, What's another tip? Oh, use lotion after you shave. That'll prevent your legs from drying out super quickly. And also, I've heard people like to exfoliate before they shave. It helps give a better shave. Personally, I'm a lazy person. But if you are very interested in getting super silky, smooth legs, try exfoliating. That could help. But definitely, lotion is a must. Um, yeah, that's some general tips. So, shaving your legs. You're going to want to use shave cream if you're using a razor, all that. Um, for me, it's really weird because on my thigh, on, sorry, I don't know names of body parts. My family was making fun of me for this because, you know, you're like your calf. I would, I couldn't remember the name for a shin. So I was like, my front calf hurts. I was like, oh my God, I'm so, so mentally special, you know, but shin that's not what I'm talking about but you know like the front and back of your thigh the front on the front of my thigh my hair grows one way and on the back of it it grows another way so I always mess up shaving the back of my thigh but truly I'm such a lazy person that I don't care enough to fix it but for legs I know people say you're supposed to go like with your hair which would probably mean going down but I go up on my legs um pretty much everywhere. And then on the back of my thighs, it's just like a crazy time, crazy time. Also for shaving your knee, if you bend your knee, it'll get easier and try to go slowly. You don't want to cut yourself because shaving, when you cut yourself while shaving, pain, it's like getting a paper cut because you know how a paper cut hurts so badly and it bleeds so much, but you just like nicked yourself barely compared to maybe if you like fell off your bike and cut your knee a paper cut that's like when you cut yourself shaving it hurts so badly and there's so much blood just get a band-aid rinse it off it's fine try to go slowly be careful around your ankle and around your knee try to rinse off the razor every few swipes you know also on my tiktok somewhere you probably would have to scroll really far but i do in fact have a video about shaving tips. I'll probably make a new one so that y'all can see and don't have to spend like 10 minutes scrolling because I have so many TikToks. Um, but yeah, I'll post like a quick tips one. But anyway, so that's pretty much all for legs. Use lotion. Um, exfoliate if you want. And also, oh, this is so important. When you're drying off in the shower, pat your legs. Don't like rub like that. Just like pat with a towel. Like if you can see me on video, just like pat because if you're rubbing, it's going to cause irritation. And I know I personally have sensitive skin. So rubbing really hurts. So 10 out of 10 would not recommend doing that. So just pat, be gentle you know, then you'll have the best feeling in the world when you get in your bed and it's new sheets and your legs, you're like hitting your legs together because everything's so soft. Oh, so good. Anyway, okay. Shaving your armpits. Obviously, put your arm up. I'm kind of scared to put my arm up because I don't know the last time I shaved my armpits. Um, I don't think they're bad. Or kind of. But I personally will shave up and then shave down. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that helps me because my armpits, the hair grows like in different directions. But again, use shaving cream, guys. You need shaving cream. Wherever you can't, you can't dry shave. You will get those little red bumps. You will get irritated and then it'll hurt. And especially you don't want to cut your armpit because your armpit's always like, (laughs) this is going to sound so gross, like moist, I guess. It's like hot in your armpit. So, it would take longer for a cut to heal and just be careful. Go slow. Um, Hold your arm up, obviously. Uh, Don't try to do it like this. You got to put your arm up like you're stretching, reaching for something. 
have, um, be careful. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. And yeah, I feel like a lot of it is kind of just for shaving in general. You just, it's just practice because for some people, different things works better. And I mean, I don't want to say something and like, you have to do this. And someone's like, well, I do it the other way and it works better. Do whatever works best for you. This is just work, what works for me. Um, I'm not the end all be all. I'm just sharing personally my tips, what I do. And again, I'm like, I'm just a 17 year old. I'm just doing what I'm doing. And maybe you have a method that's better than what I'm doing. And if you do, literally let me know and I'll share it. Yeah. Okay. Now for your bikini area. So this can get irritated. Guys, shave down. You can shave up, but you're going to be more likely to get bumps. Shave down. You can do side to side. I know that um, if you if you want more in depth information, because obviously this is a podcast, so it's not like I'm not I don't have like a visual with me. I mean, I do have video, but I'm not like showing you exactly what to do. Definitely, highly recommend going on YouTube, reading an article. TikTok has a lot of quick videos. If you're scared about people looking at your search history for some reason, um. TikTok has a lot of great videos with tips and tricks, so you can check that out. But again, be gentle. Try to go slow. Um, if you cut yourself, clean it, get a Band-Aid. Um, would not recommend exfoliating down there. That will probably cause more irritation. But um, be gentle. Be careful. <laughs> Use some sort of shaving cream something at least something guys try to use something that's not really scented with a lot of fragrance because that'll just cause more irritation and not not good things also i have heard that you're not supposed to use the same razor for your bikini area as your legs which you could also try that because apparently it'll keep the razor sharper i guess which will help with not as many razor bumps razor burn I guess I don't really get razor burn, um, but for people who do, try to be gentle. Use um, shave down. If you're struggling with razor bumps in your bikini area, shave down, okay? If you've been shaving up, could be why. Could be why because that can cause some irritation for people with sensitive skin like me or maybe like you. Um... So I just wanted to talk about a little bit about like body hair insecurities and um, societal societal standards specifically for women in general because I just feel like there's so much that we have to go through. But for all our people that are listening who aren't um, girls who don't have to maybe deal with this, you can still listen. And I'm sure... I'm just speaking from what I know because I'm sure boys have a lot of expectations of themselves, obviously, or trans people, stuff like that. It's a lot to go through. But again, I'm just speaking from my experience. I don't want to put words in other people's mouths saying this is what a trans guy experiences or this is what my brother experiences or something like that, you know? So for me and a lot of the women in my family I know, we all have like fairly hairy arms. I'm looking at mine right now. But I remember when I was younger, maybe fourth, third, fourth grade, a lot of the boys would point out and be like, oh my gosh, your arms are so hairy. So of course that makes me insecure. And I would literally refuse to wear short sleeves to school because I'd be so self-conscious of my arms. Even now, sometimes I'll just like opt for a sweater because I'm like, oh, I don't want people looking at my arms. My arms are so hairy. But I mean, honestly who cares truly and I have to tell myself that I'm like no one cares and if they do why and I know a lot of people do shave their arms personally I don't um that is again too much work for me I'm a very lazy when it comes to shaving and all that type of stuff I just I'll do it if I have to but I'm not someone who does it because I feel like I need to it's more I'll do it to make me feel more comfortable or I'm going somewhere 
doing going out I guess but yeah and I feel like it's kind of dumb because there's always this thing going around where it feels like girls need to shave and boys don't which why I'm sorry boys armpit hair it's it's gross it smells weird I I don't understand why can't if girls have to shave why can't boys too guys legs come on I'm sorry it's just so much so much and I don't know why we were all just like going along with it because I remember when I was in sixth grade uh, all my friends we were all like yeah we're gonna start shaving we're gonna do all that and I'm like why why I mean I just did it because I felt like I had to while my friends were doing it but what's the point <laughs> what's the point guys but moral of the story just shave if you want to and not because you think you have to but do it because it makes you feel more comfortable. Maybe you feel most confident when you have like silky smooth legs rather than if you look like a lumberjack dude, which if that's your vibe, that's your vibe, man. I mean, you could also just wear pants like during the winter. You do not have to shave every day. Okay, you're wearing pants. Even during the summer, I might shave like once a week. To be fair, though, my the hair on my legs grows really slowly, so I don't have to shave that often, which is a blessing. Um thank you thank you lord but um yeah i just do it whenever moral moral of the story shave when you want and don't feel pressured to shave like guys not everyone does and also if you're going on a trip or going somewhere where you don't have access to shaving or because i know when i'm going to the grand canyon i can't shave my legs which, and I'm not really worried about that, but I already know that my brother is going to say so many things about it. I mean, like, oh my gosh, Carmen, your legs are so hairy. Like, he'll literally call me cactus sometimes because I would just wear shorts and not shave my legs. But the thing is, no one is shaving their legs if you're going on a trip like that. Or if you're at camp, there's better things to focus on than, oh my gosh, my legs are so hairy. Like, focus on the experience. Focus on why you're there, what you're doing, all the fun sights, all the fun people. You don't have to worry about your leg hair, especially if you're on a trip and no one has access. Like, dude, I promise you, it's fine. But like, seriously, do not, do not worry about it. Today's episode is brought to you by Omnio. Omnio is a travel booking platform that makes planning a journey in Europe and North America effortless. Just enter your travel details and Omnio will magically give you all the train, bus, flight, and ferry options for your journey. It's never been simpler to book your first real vacation for 2021. Best of all, using Omnio saves you time and money. That's a win-win in our books. Omnio wants to help you leave your house this summer by offering 5% off your next booking. Just head to Omnio.com using the code LISTENER5 at checkout. Valid until June 30th for new users on all modes of transport. It's just the pick-me-up 2021 needs, Omnio. Plan, book, and love the journey. Terms and conditions apply. So as I was saying, like in sixth grade, I was super scared to start shaving. I was scared to ask my mom. I didn't know where to start. And I was that kid who would be so scared to ask anyone anything that I would literally watch like a million YouTube videos about it. So of course, that's what I did. But I definitely suggest asking your mom, don't go behind her back and just like steal a razor and just try to do it. Because I've heard so many stories about people doing this. I'm pretty sure I did this, but I remember like taking my mom's razor and I literally like cut my thumb. So I'm pretty sure I pushed like the blade into my finger, which why was I doing that? I don't know. But just ask your mom, tell her you want to. It might be a little awkward, but if you're in middle school or fifth grade around that time, your mom should be totally cool with it and especially if y'all if your mom's like weird about it just say all your friends are doing it maybe it'll make, tell her it'll make you feel more comfortable whatever your reason might be just explain your reasoning behind it i'm sure she won't care she'll probably be proud of you for being so mature about it and just ask her i mean hey it's your mom she's been through it she understands and if it's awkward, it might be awkward for maybe a minute or a day, whatever. 
then you get to shave and it's fun. Also, the first time you do it, it might take a while. I remember when I first started shaving, it took me like 45 minutes to shave my legs. Why? It, if it's taking you that long, it shouldn't. But you, the more you do it, the faster you'll get and you'll get more used to it. But when you first start, be careful. Um, also, shave your legs when they are wet. Don't dry shave. I feel like I've said this so many times, but dry shaving means when your legs are dry or just like when you're not using any shaving cream in general or any product on your leg to shave don't don't do that you can shave in your when you're in the shower you can turn off the water if you don't want it to mess anything up whatever but highly recommend talking to your mom if your mom is not in the picture talking to an older sibling trusted adult your dad your dad might be awkward but he has a daughter he understands okay again it's just should be a quick combo it doesn't have to be the end of the world um and also it's fine i promise you no one cares literally no one cares okay so if you're someone who's like shaving takes so long i hate shaving i'm scared to use a razor all that stuff there are different methods of shaving that you can try out, or not of shaving, sorry, of hair removal that you can try out. Um, let me think. There's waxing, laser hair removal, again, shaving. There's some hair removing cream, threading. That's for like your eyebrows. But let's first talk about wax. So personally, I've only gotten my eyebrows waxed. I've not gotten anywhere else. But wax... <laughs> It's like, it's nice because you don't have to do it if you're going somewhere to get it done. It's nice, but also it can be scary because if the person does it wrong. But I like, I personally like getting my eyebrows waxed. It does, since I have sensitive skin, it can cause irritation sometimes. So be mindful of that. I know people can make like homemade sugar waxes and you can try that. I've seen a recipe on TikTok. You can try watching some YouTube videos about it. I personally have never tried um, I'm kind of scared to make homemade wax, but also I know at Target or stores like that, you can buy wax, like a wax kit, and try that out if you're not vibing with shaving. Also, I'm pretty sure waxing might last longer since you're actually pulling out the hair from the root. So, if you're going on a vacation and you don't want to have to shave during, that might be a better option. And yeah, it also, I don't know for pricing if it is cheaper or not but i'm assuming if it lasts longer it might be and another thing to go along with your eyebrows is threading which i think became popular maybe in the last 10 years at least in america i'm sure it was popular in other places but like where i live it became popular there were threading places showing up but pretty much in case you don't know that's where they have a kind of what's it called? A thread, obviously. And they're pulling out individual hairs. So it's kind of like tweezers, but with a thread. And I've heard that hurts. Honestly, all of these kind of hurt except for shaving and like a hair removal cream. But um, threading is good. I've heard. I've never done it. One of my friends has, and he said it was good and liked it better than waxing. Also, I think you can thread your eyebrows at home which is good too. You can also tweeze your eyebrows, which again, a lot of these are pulling the hair directly out, but that's good if you want it to last longer, but it can hurt. Uh, you just kind of got to push through it and you'll be most likely fine. Um, anyway, another thing that I know you can do for leg hair anywhere else, but I think it's most often used on legs is laser hair removal. My mom did it when she was younger, but I think you go for like six sessions maybe and they pretty much zap the hair off with some laser, I guess. And she says it hurts so badly. <laughs> she says she won't lie. It is very painful, especially on areas where there isn't a lot of skin, like I guess your knee or your shins, but she doesn't have to shave her legs ever again. And... 
that kind of sounds worth it to me, especially also if you're someone who gets razor bumps or irritation from shaving, that could be a really good option. Obviously, you'd have to talk with your mom about it, talk to a parent, um, because I think it can be slightly pricey, but if you struggle with razor bumps, um, definitely suggest checking out laser. That could be life-changing for a lot of people. And again, another type, obviously, shaving. Um, you need a razor. You have to do that more often. A lot of these other things, it's you don't have to do it as often, which makes it more appealing to you people. But the last method that I know about, obviously, I don't know if these are all of them, but the ones that I know about is a hair removal cream, which can be like, what is it called? Um, honestly, I can't remember the name of it. Veet like Veet hair removal. I know that's a brand. But the thing about hair removal creams, so I've used one because my sister got it and I tried it and I was just super lazy and didn't want to shave. It does kind of tingle and burn and I have sensitive skin. I know I've said that like four times, but that really became apparent when I was taking off the, like the cream, the hair removal cream and it left two giant rashes on each of my thighs and it was so itchy and it hurt and it dried out my skin and also the hair removal cream is really bad for the environment just in general because you're kind of washing it down the drain and it has a lot of toxic chemicals because obviously it's like burning your hair off which I can't see the appeal if you're super lazy and don't want to do it which I mean that's why I used it but I don't know if I'll use it again. My friend does use an unscented one and she says it's more gentle and better for sensitive skin. But also I'm kind of scared to try it again. It's just, it smells really bad and it gave me a rash. But if it works for you, that is great. I can say quite confidently, I did not enjoy it. I don't know, I don't know really what was going on, but it did not vibe with my skin. But if you're trying to experiment with stuff, try it. I mean, try wax, try shaving, try hair removal cream. Obviously, I don't think you can just like try laser once you have to do like treatments. I think it's similar to when you get a tattoo removed, um, how you have to go in multiple times. It's kind of like that. But also threading your eyebrows. Oh. Another thing for eyebrows, y'all, I should have talked about eyebrows when I was talking about shaving other things, but you should get a facial razor. You can get these off of Amazon and they kind of look like a flat toothbrush, but if it had razor blades instead, but it's so helpful. Also, you shouldn't be using like a real razor that using you're using on your leg in between your eyebrows, you know, where you might have a unibrow. I know I did when I was younger. No shame. I did so lol but use a facial razor and it's also better because especially in the middle of your eyebrows if you're tweezing each and every hair that's gonna hurt that's gonna take forever just use a facial razor it makes it go by so much more quickly and 10 out of 10 would recommend so for me for shaving I personally use the billy razor which this is not sponsored I wish it was they should sponsor me anyway, but I really love it. It's kind of, it's this subscription service where you get the body of the razor, a few blades, and this little wall stand where it magnetically connects to the wall, which is super cool and super helpful because, you know, if you just leave a razor sitting down, it kind of gets a little crusty, kind of gets a little gross, but this doesn't. And every few months or however often you want them to send to you they'll send you a few razor blades so like the heads and honestly it's pretty cheap it looks super cute and you're not having to buy uh like the entire razor each time you're just having to buy the heads it might be i want to say it's like eight dollars for the little razor heads and they send you like four or five six i'm so bad at guessing or remembering how much I paid for things, but I really like the Billy Razor. It's super good. It has these kind of um, lotion-y smoothing bars 
on the end. It gets a really close shave. And also I have used their shaving cream. I was not the biggest fan of it, but I did use it. So currently now I'm using the Aveeno shave cream. I think it has a blue lid and it claims that you don't have to shave as often, which I think might actually be correct because I, when I use it, my hair doesn't grow back as fast and it's super gentle. It doesn't really have such a strong smell to it which is nice because I have used shave creams that claim they're not scented but they kind of are and also the Aveeno one is super what's the word it's gentle it's smooth it comes out as kind of a gel but then you rub it in between your hands and it'll make it a fluffy moussey type of foam also I feel like it's Aveeno but honestly it might be a Veda I always get them messed up uh, if it's not a Vino, I'll say something in the description or somewhere on the screen if you're on YouTube, but I really think it's a Vino. And then also I use a Vino lotion after I shave. You can use whatever. I have used a CeraVe lotion. I, again, think unscented is the way to go. Gentle lotion, not lotion with smells because I know When I got my first ever and probably last spray tan I'll ever get, I don't know if I want to get one again. It really smells weird. But uh, the lady kind of guilted Hadley, my sister, into buying this lotion, which literally had salt in it, which salt dries out your skin. And first of all, why is there salt in lotion? Does anyone want to explain that to me? I was so confused. I was like, why did you buy this? But I swear it made me like... I have now have eczema on my arm. I've never gotten eczema on my arm. And I use that lotion like three times and I can feel it right now. There's literally like skin falling off. I need to use, I asked people on my Instagram story what to use. My dad is a doctor, so he has stuff for it. I want to see if there's something that didn't require medicine because I don't want to have to tell him. Anyway, but use lotion, use unscented lotion. Don't use stuff from Bath and Body Works. Okay, guys, that stuff smells so strong. Bath and Body Works gives me a headache. Um, I can't. I can't do it. And yeah, so that's pretty much, I think, all I have to say about shaving. I know this was kind of a short episode, but I mean, hopefully it was quick. Got to the point. Gave you some good tips. Again, check out my TikTok because hopefully I'll be posting videos about shaving hold up I just realized I'm gonna be in the Grand Canyon so actually I might not be posting videos about shaving until I get back so I did not say that can you schedule videos on TikTok we're gonna be figuring it out maybe you may or may not be seeing that but don't forget to leave a review subscribe follow do all the things y'all already know and thank you so much for getting to this point in the episode i love y'all so much especially y'all that stay to the end um you're real ones i appreciate you and don't forget to check out all the links in the description of this episode to find my website newsletter email etc all the things and again um make sure you're following me on instagram and tiktok at the girly girl podcast if you aren't already. And I hope everyone has a great week. I'm currently going to be in the Grand Canyon when this episode comes out. So get hype. Um, Hopefully I'm not dying and not having the worst possible time ever. I think it'll be fine. Maybe I could be like drowning in the Colorado River. I'm kidding. That was a joke. Anyway, love y'all. Bye.